I am not a fan of this 7 a.m. PT stuff. I'm not even in the military. I don't even need to do PT and I'm still here. You're lucky I love you. But we're gonna go bond some kids. We'll be back. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. And I beat everybody. I was really close to beating you. Don't lie, I got you out. She got me out twice, she did good. But I beat everybody, so. Ball on them. I'm back at home now. Grab my tools real quick out of the barn. Head to the junkyard and try and find some parts. And then once I get back, we're gonna paint the ender cover. And we're gonna paint all the moldings and trim pieces on the golf here because they're very faded and definitely need a nice little respray. These moldings here on the front and rear bumpers actually just pop right off, so those will do off the car. The rear lip, I'll have to just tape off the top section, spray on the car. Um, side molding, same way, we'll do those on the car. Door handles can come off, those are easy. And then again, front lip can come off. Um, actually, I might just try to find a new front lip because these little tabs here, this one and that one, and I think that one too, they're kind of like sheared off, so it doesn't quite stay. It always like pops back out, so we may try and just find a new lip. And then I want to do these little grills in here as well. Until I can find a new fender, I may try and get these dents out just a little bit. Nothing crazy, but maybe I can pop it out just a little bit. So check this out. I just saw the KC at work. I've passed this car, I think, four times now. I haven't been able to film it yet. It's a black Golf 3 variant. It's five lug all around, and it has disc brakes in the rear. So that means it has to either be a VR6 or possibly a 16 valve. I don't know if 16 valve had discs in the rear. It may have, but it's either a 12 valve VR6 or he has an R badge on the rear. So it might be R32 swapped. If there's an R32 swap variant on base, I'll probably cry because that just makes me so sad, and I'm super jealous. <sighs> Look at this thing. Black Golf 3 variant, R badge on the rear. He has Stancy wheels on it. Oh, it's it's so beautiful. So it's either it had to be a VR6 or it possibly is R swapped. Could you imagine an R32 swap variant? I would be so, I'm already jealous, but like, good grief. I did a quick little walk around the car. I want to bring the camera out and cause like a scene. Um, but I took some pictures up on the screen here. The car is in fact a VR6. I don't know if it's 12 valve, 24 valve, or if it's R32 swap car. Um, but I'm, I'm leaning towards R32. He has all the badges on it, but there's an inner core in the front of this car. So this car is literally some sort of VR6 turbo variant on base. I, I, I'm so, I'm so, I have to meet this person. Did not realize the drinker opens at 11. It is currently 10.43. Made it in and boom, Mark IV just waiting for me. Nice little dark blue golf. Got core seats to mine, but this one's ripped on the side. But look at that, this is a V5. Look at that. So it looks almost exactly like the 12 valve Mark IV VR6. That's how the top looks, but five cylinder. Pretty cool. I apologize for not filming more, but it's hard to rain, so I left the camera in the car. But we got a front lip, two really nice looking coil packs, a full set of nice looking spark plug wires, some clear side markers, and there's also a set of really nice looking uh, smoked and red taillights I might go back and get, and I got a front lip as well. Um, but I didn't get any of it yet because they only take cash and all I have on me is euros and my card So got to go grab money and then we'll go back and get it, but nice little score for sure. We finally have all of our parts We have a new lip right here and in the back we have a full set of plug wires We have two different coil packs here. One is from a 2.0 and one's from a 1.6. They're identical. I think the 1.6 one actually looked a bit nicer, almost brand new, so I grabbed both. And then I got some clear side markers. I was gonna grab the tail lights off the one that were black and smoked, but the one had a big crack on the side that I didn't see, so I left them for now. But I really do want to replace these ones. I, I just don't like the amber and red. I've never liked it. Just, eh, I don't know. Our first mod is coming back off. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. We're gonna paint this one and put a nice new one back on. This one worked out well for a little while, but you can see these ones like sheared off, so this one will be a lot better. Very dirty under where the uh, the plate holder was, and you can see something yellow at some point has hit this car, like scraped across the top section there and across like down here as well. Maybe it'll come off. It may. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and pull off this bumper strip here and paint it up. Bumper molding pops in pretty much exactly how your lower lip does. You kind of just walk your way around. And kind of slowly push it out. Now we're stuck. There you go. Try to refrain from breaking this if all possible. Okay, we're stuck. Hang on. All right. Well, um, that was easy. <laughs> this car is looking, oh, poor car. But it's okay. We're gonna paint all these, make it look perfect and brand new, and I'll make it look much better. 
All trim pieces are now ready to be sprayed real quick. It'll look brand new after this. We've also moved the car over here because it keeps raining off and on. So I had this super nice little awning going down. So this is perfect. While that is being painted and drying, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the coal pack and all the, well, the, well I'm gonna do all the plug wires because I have a whole new set here. So all the plug wires and the coal pack and get this thing running perfectly, hopefully. If you guys don't know about this stuff, you are highly, highly missing out. This stuff is amazing. Just a little side by side. This is like one light coat versus nothing. If you have trim, like plaster on your car and you're not using this stuff, you are missing out. Cause like, brand new, old and nasty. Coil pack is now out. It doesn't look too bad, but on the back there are a few cracks. We're gonna put this one in, it looks a lot, a whole bunch newer. And then the plugs didn't look too bad, but I told you yesterday, plug number, I think this one, three. You can see that very, very brown and nasty inside. And this is the one that had the cuts on that side of the plug, so I'm gonna pull all those out, put all the new ones in, and then put this one in and see how she runs. And then all this stuff is looking brand new. Look at that. Cannot wait to put the back on the car. Feeling so much better. Look at the difference here. The one on the left is the new ones I just got, and the ones on the right are the ones that been in the car. Look how like corroded they are inside. So, needs to say, time for those to go. So, out of the old uh, setup here, this one, I think this is number four or number three, no sorry, this is number two, I wanna say it is. This one's super brown inside. And then plug number three over here is one that had the, all the, the cuts inside it. And the rest of them are all, they're all nasty inside. So, goodbye. All right, everything is now in, all buttoned back up. Let's see how she runs. Sounds good so far. Okay, so listen. There's no breaking up. So yesterday, even though I didn't use spark plugs and it idled way smoother, when I would rev the gas a little bit, it would kind of like like, do, 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 like break up. But right now, yeah, now she's ready. I'm gonna let these sit for about 10 or so more minutes, make sure they're fully dry, and we're gonna slap them back on the car. In the meantime though, this car could definitely benefit from some tire shine, like they crusty. Oh yeah, now we're talking. A little tire shine action going on. Much better. Painted lower grills, lip, bumper molding, and also rear moldings. So much better. And then probably tomorrow we'll do the door handles and the side molds on the actual car. But dang, such a huge improvement. And the car's running perfectly now. Good progress today, good progress. The car is running so much better, thank goodness. And we had to do it. Green cars unite. Now that one's much lighter than mine, but still, we had to do it. Okay, so I just learned the Mark IV rear lip actually just pops off like the front does. The Mark III's don't do this, so this is uh, new to me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off real quick, paint the rear lip, and then make that done. And then we're gonna go ahead and swap out the side marker for the clear ones, and then put the engine covers back on the engine bay, and we're gonna call it a day. Well, dang. Compared to two days ago, this thing looks so much better. I still gotta paint the air box and intake tube, but like, man, it looks so good. I wanna do more cleaning throughout here, but so far, it's good. And I had to black out the one six, you gotta do it. Oh, and we can't forget, can't forget the finishing touch. There she is. Not bad. Wait, I forgot these two, hang on. Need these. Super official now. So besides just yanking this lip right off, there's also two little 10 millimeter bolts, similar to like the Mark III front number ones, that are right there and there. But now that both of those are out, I should now be able to yank it off. Rear lip acquired. I wish I was recording because I was sitting up behind the bumper and I was yanking on it and I gave it a good yeet and it all came up at once and I literally went flying backwards. It would've been really funny to see, but it's now off. Maybe we should do like a nice little like a uh, little like tubular back end, like a drift car. Look at my little exhaust. It's so cute. Uh, I kind of want to put an exhaust in this car, but I just don't know if a 1.6 Automax is sound that great. Maybe something like something small with some nice exhaust, is, but like that's how to go. While that dries, it is time for the amber to go away. These are super easy. They simply just pop out. There's only one little spring towards the front. You pull them off, you put your new bulb in, you're good to go. But look at that paint. Ooh, God, that car is so good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready? One, two, three, bam. Look at that. So much better. Now, the clear. 
matches the clear and I would love to get some clear tail lights back here would be dope or would be sick as well green tails in the rear green side markers that would also be dope but for now we're going with a clear look it's crazy how much newer this side looks compared to this side with the amber on it I think if that was like a nice like crystal like brand new amber marker it would look a lot better but like it looks old on this side I really like how the headlights match that now it's a good look check it out check it out rear lip is now on it's crazy how simple trim paint can make a car look so much newer and of course the awesome clear side markers and of course the car is running so much better now really starting to enjoy this little thing all right we are calling it a day at that tomorrow i'm going to paint the door handles and the side on the car and then after that all of the painting will be done and then after that we're going to try and fix the ac in the car and hopefully that goes well fingers crossed as always don't forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace